Welcome to Spelling Analysis. All right, before we begin, I want to look at something. What does this say? A, U, U, U. That's right. Do you hear the sound U? Uh? All right, keep that in mind. That is the broad sound. Do you hear the broad sound U uh, in this phonogram? Ow, O, U, U, U. That's right. That last sound, U, uh, is the same as the broad sound, U, uh, in this phonogram. So we can think of U uh, as the broad sound for this phonogram. All right, let's get started by learning a few very common words in English. The first word is would. Would you like to learn these with me? Would. Go ahead and say would. All right, watch me carefully as, I, as we sound this out. One option for you is to stay to spell wold. <laughs> That's wold. That's really hard to say. But what am I going to be telling you? You're right, there's a silent L. So there's going to be a pattern to these words, so be watching me. We'll just sound out wood. W, uh, this is an ow, o, u, uh, uh. Silent L, d. Got it? Go ahead and write wood. And make sure you put in that silent L. Excellent. Now help me write it. W, U, silent L, D. <laughs> How will we mark it? Well, underline the U. Uh. Now, what sound of ow, O, U, U, U is this? In wood. You're right. It's the fifth, so we'll put a five over it. And we'll double underline the silent L. So, thinking back to your words in the last lesson, what did you learn? You learned that silent L's in words like talk and walk can cue the vowel before it to say it's broad sound. And here's what this is doing in these words. The silent L is saying, say your broad sound, uh. Let's sound it out. W, uh, d, would. The next word is could. Could you help me? Could. Go ahead and say could. Do you hear something similar between would and could? I think you might be able to make some guesses about how this will be spelled, but let's sound it out together. K. This is a k s. Uh. Ow, o, u, u, u. Silent L. D. Go ahead and write could. Excellent. Now help me write it. K. U. Uh. Silent L, D. How will we mark it? We'll underline the uh. What sound of ow, o, u, u, u is in could? You're right, the fifth sound. And we'll double underline the silent L. Do you see a pattern? Would, could. I see a pattern too. The next word is should. Should I go or should I stay? Should. Go ahead and say should. Hmm, do you think there might be a pattern? Would, could, should? I bet you already have an idea about how this is spelled. Let's sound out should. Sh, uh. This is an ow, o, u, uh, uh. Silent L, d. Go ahead and write should. Good job, now help me write it, should. Sh, uh, silent L, d. How will we mark it? We'll underline the uh. What sound of ow, o, u, u, u is it? Fifth. We'll double underline the silent L. You're right. I forgot to underline the sh. Good catch. Let's read it. Sh, uh, d. Should. Let's read each of these. W, uh, d. Would. K, uh, d. Could. Sh, uh, d. Should. Now, there's something else that's kind of interesting about these words. Let me give you an example. Each of these sentences are right. Would you? Could you? Should you? <laughs> these all begin questions, or can begin questions, or I would, 
I could, I should. So they're somewhat related in meaning and how we use them. And so you'll notice there's a relationship between how they are spelled. The next word is each. Each of you are doing a great job. Or I would like to give one to each of you. Each. Let's sound it out. Each. E. Use an E at A. Ch. Got it? Go ahead and write it. Now help me write it. Each. E. Ch. How will we mark it? We'll underline the E and the Ch. Let's read it. Each. Each. The next word is hold. I would like to hold your hand. Hold. Go ahead and say hold. That's kind of weird because I'm on a screen, but you get the idea of I, I, I will hold the marker. Hold. Hold. Go ahead and say hold. Let's sound it out. H o. This is an a o u. U d. Go ahead and write hold. Now help me to write it. Hold. H o o d. How will we mark it? We'll put a line over the o because it said it's long sound. And why did it say it's long sound? I and o may say I and o before two consonants. And there it is before two consonants. Let's read it. O O D. Hold. Great work today. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at foundations.logicofenglish.com.